in. It looks lovely. These two together, it's like a golden checkerboard or a golden basket weave. It's really pretty. I'd have to actually look up on her website as there's some symbolism to this, this packaging, but it's absolutely stunning. Sorry that I took half the first video to show you my dogs <laughs> and talk about spiritual things, but that's okay. All right, so this one's called Soiree. It's very heavy, and that implies to me that there is, there, the weight is, it's a, it's a substantial packaging piece. It's not cheap, and therefore, I immediately start looking at things like, oh, what a nice wide mirror. Look at that. Oh, look at those colors, y'all. Let me turn that down so y'all can see the colors without a reflection. Maybe, I always like to do it upside down like this so you can see it better. And I'll put it next to my face so that it will zoom in a little better. See, I don't want to block. There you go. Is that gorgeous color, y'all? So these are cool tones. You've got this beautiful bronzy gold. You've got this beautiful berry color. A nice soft pink. A nice transition kind of camel tone. And then this um, kind of wine brown. It's like a deep, dark wine, but it's got a brown hue. And then this is um, almost like a, a star blue. Let's just see what is that exactly. That's a black with some blue, um, very highly grained pigment um, glitter. So that's going to be very interesting. We'll have to use it just to see how it how it does. Okay. So I don't know if I'm going to use that one or the other one. The other one should be more of a warm palette. And its name is Au Naturel. I just want you to see the inner box. Look at that. Look how much care they gave to making sure this did not get messed up. Look at that. There's a box inside a box to protect this. I'll put the link be below to this brand so you can see all the prices and everything. Because honestly, um, oh, this is like the perfect palette. Look at this. Look at that, y'all. Oh, natural. So you have a nice cream transition tones of both this kind of warmer brown and a cooler brown. You have some really nice shimmers, almost like a champagne and a peachy color over here. And this one I think is very similar to the other where it's very glittery champagne peach. Yeah, it's got a gold peach. Absolutely beautiful for the lid. Um, and then this is more of a, similar to the other one, but this is more of a blue. No, that is blue. That is beautiful blue, y'all. Look at that tone. I'm wearing blue today. Maybe I'll use this one today. Y'all, which one? How about a different eye for both? No, I can't do that because I'm actually going to be, you know, on video for meetings today, so I, I can't do that. But anyway. All right. What is my feelings right off the bat about the lipstick? It feels like it's nice coverage. It's light, but I feel like it's very dense color. So we'll see what the wear is throughout the day. I'll let y'all know it does what kind of wear does this have. Now, I will also tell you that um, I always collapse these before I put them in the trash just to make sure that, you know, they break down better. Um, so what would I say as far as so far? The opening experience, the packaging experience, and what looks like the quality is going to be off the chart. I'm using brand new brushes, clean, brand, brand, brand new brushes. Gosh, y'all, I don't know which one to use. I think I'm used to the other one because of the blue, and this shirt has blue in it. I don't know if y'all can see how much blue. So, yes, we will do another one tomorrow, and we will look at that one, okay? I promise. I promise. Okay, so I'm going to start with putting this light cream color under my... Um, brow and in my inner corner and this is the Zoeva it's called Rose Golden is the name of this set and this is so old I bet you can't even find it good luck <laughs> just kidding we I should try to find it for you okay so this um brush number is 235 contour shade I don't use this contour shade I like these angled ones to put on under the brow Okay. Let's knock that off and go right under the brow. Because it just it because of the way it's shaped, it blends it well. 
Okay, this is clearly a neutral. That doesn't mean it doesn't have good coverage. It means it's supposed to be blending in so much that you almost can't tell it's on. And that is a, it for me. This is my skin color. Exactly. Just about. Actually, it's a little lighter. But it does highlight the brow. Okay, and then I'm also going to use the, the short end, or what I call the butt end of an angle brush, and use it right in the crease. I mean, sorry, in the inner corner, just to wake that up. I go straight up and down, like literally go from the top to the bottom and just go over it a few times. And that way it gets both the upper and the lower lid at the same time in this inner area that tends to be a little bit darker. So it's good to just kind of go over it like that. And then I might also brush it over the lid just to kind of blend that color out, even though we will, we will likely use another color. Okay. And then at the end here, and at the end here, it just kind of gives the darker colors something to stop to over here. Alright, and now we are going to use, um, this is the Lux Brow Light. Maybe they would have used this underneath. I would use this as a transition brush, and it is the 325. So I'm not using any the way, anything the way it's supposed to be. So, okay. Transition, hmm. I'm thinking this. You, That's too dark for transition, and that actually probably is too. Yeah, ooh, that's dark is that. Yeah, both of those. One is a cool brown and one is a warm brown, but they're definitely too dark to be a transition color, so they are no. So it is going to be this kind of more gold champagne color over here that we're going to use. Oh, that's perfect transition. So it's this line between the crease and the brow. And you want to start right below it and then go up. Work it up so that it can Sometimes I even do like that just to kind of make sure it's going to blend in good to the next color. You can kind of blend them right there. See? So that means that the color that we're going to bring this down to will be in the crease. And that will help it them transition. I have a scar right there, so it never is very smooth. I guess y'all have noticed that about a hundred times. <laughs> but one of y'all told me that's because scar tissue doesn't actually take makeup very well and that is an old scar from when I was going up the back stairs when I was a little girl coming home from the pool and I had a terry cloth jacket on over my bathing suit which had a little hood and my hair was wet and the terry cloth had a little string hanging down I stepped on the string and slammed my face right into the, the step. That was quite a string that it would jerk my head down into the step enough to cause it to be cut open literally and I would have a scar for the rest of my life quite a memory. I used to love to go to the pool. Alright, so that is the transition look. Some people, if they have the right skin tone for this, that would be all you'd need to do. You can just go on down to the eyelid and you wouldn't need anything on the lid or the crease. For me, y'all know, what do I like? Depth. So I'm going to do both a uh, crease color and a different, this blue on the, um, lid concealer buffer. I need that. I need a taper. There it is. Lux crease 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 Lux crease brush. Lux crease brush. Lux crease brush. Okay. Two two eight. And we're going to use I'm gonna go with a cool tone because we're using the blue. So because it's a little tapered, I roll it. You can dab it like that if you want, but I roll it so that it gets you know, the way that it's tapered, you want to make sure that it gets all the bristles. So always start with your your first touch down out here on the outer part of the lid because what that is is where most of the product is going to be and then blend it in to the crease. And windshield wiper motions, it's that simple. And then blend it back up just a little in the outer area. Y'all, my eyes are so dry today. I think it's allergies. Here again, put touch down on the outer part of your lid and then go into the crease when she wipe her motions and all that. And also, if you look up, your skin will grab that tighter. <laughs> and just kind of blend it back up on the outer so that it's a nice.
guys blend up. Okay. Yep, it's always that, that scar that doesn't quite take well. Okay, then for the lid, we're going to use something that's like a flat shader, what's this say? Soft definer. Okay. Anyway, I'm going to use that more like a flat brush, and this is what we're going to put on the lid. Now, usually one of the things you can do with these really sparkly shades, definitely to top that off, um, is your finger. Nothing works like your finger for glitter. And we are purposely going to go heavy here. really concentrate the color in the middle and then just kind of blend it out from the edges right up into that crease color. See how that darkened it up so much, but I love it. It's so pretty. And then let's just see if putting my finger makes it more glittery. I think it does. I definitely think it does. I don't know why that is, but your finger seems to do better. All right. Here we're going to, I can't believe it's the first time I've ever used these beautiful brushes. Start in the middle, can blend back a little, but mainly towards the tear duct. Okay. And then right up into that crease a little bit to kind of make the colors blend. And again, we're going to use our finger. Beautiful and just really pop that color back on and it seems to make the glitter more prominent when you do that. Again, blend it up into the crease. 